big eye poker. Boy. Hey guys, welcome back to my second channel. If you're wondering, my first channel is plant therapy and that is more plant focused, of course, but now you're on my second channel and we are just gonna be getting ready today. We're doing a get ready with me video, I guess. And I'm just gonna be putting a face on. I got some new makeup yesterday from Ulta that I am really excited to try. Um, so we'll see how this works out. <laughs> We're gonna use some like tried and true old faithfuls that I really like and then some of the new ones. So we'll see how everything works together. And today we're gonna to be taking the dogs to Edmonds Beach. At least I'm pretty certain that's what we're gonna be doing. So I will take you along there with us as well when we go. But first we need to get ready because as you can see, uh, my face is a little bit rough. I've been breaking out um, a lot. It definitely couldn't have anything to do with that like almost full tub of frosting that I pretty much killed myself. Couldn't have anything to do with that. So <laughs> let's go ahead and just start putting a face on. I'm also gonna be like looking in my mirror right here, which like I usually use to see if I'm in frame. So hopefully I don't wiggle around too much and I can stay in frame for you guys, at least somewhat. All right, so first things first, I usually just start with a primer, but I need to start with an SPF. Like I know that this is, this is what we need to be doing is using SPF, especially with my new job. I'm working outside a lot. Um, so I've been getting, I've been getting more sun. Like, let me move my mic so you can kind of see, like I can tell I've been getting more sun on my chest and on my face, not so much on my arms because I usually do um, wear a jacket or something like that. Um, I don't know why I shouldn't because I usually just end up sweating. But um, but yeah, I can tell that I've been getting more sun lately over the last couple of weeks at my new job. So I definitely need to be adding sunscreen to my routine. I do have lip gloss on right now. And this is one of the new things I got yesterday. This is the Sunbum 30 SPF lip balm. Um, and this is the mango flavor. I'm gonna be honest, I thought that I had grabbed the watermelon flavor but this is mango, which honestly is fine. It is very, um, it gets pretty like liquidy as you can kind of see on there. Maybe you can see, but, um, but yeah, it is a bit of a strong scent. I will say that, but anyway, back to SPF. Did I leave it in there? Hold on. Show you what I got yesterday. So and we are in the bedroom, as you can see here. The lighting in my bathroom is just so bad. So hopefully we can see the colors a little bit true. Hopefully I can see my own colors a little bit more true. Um, and yeah, so that's why we're in the bedroom today and not the bathroom. But this is the um, SPF that I got. I've been influenced by YouTube shorts, beauty influencers. Um, so I grabbed this V 30 SPF um, hydrating mineral sunscreen. This isn't supposed to leave any sort of white cast. Um, I did get the sheer tint kind. I think there was just like a non-tinted one, which I probably should have gotten. I don't know why. I was just really excited to see this. Um, but I tried some on my hand so you can see I already used it a little bit. There's definitely a tint there going on um but it's supposed to be a sheer tint so we'll see about that I've got a pretty small amount there and I should get some hair clips I didn't think about this let's try to clip my hair up somewhat out of the way shall we okay I'm scared we're doing it And so this will hopefully protect my skin while also giving me just like a little bit of coverage. But hopefully my makeup will still be okay over it. What do we think? That's just like the teeniest little bit. I feel like I need a little bit more just to get that actual SPF coverage there. So there's a little, a little tiny bit more. Okay. Oh my God, I discovered a new zit this morning, like right on the side of my jaw. Oh my God, it hurts. Bring that down the side of my neck. That actually, I don't think looks bad. I feel like you can't really tell that I have anything on yet. So that's good. I didn't want it to be like too dark 
for my skin. Um, I'm at a really weird spot with my skin tone right now and my skin color because it's summertime and usually I'm a little bit lighter, but during summer, that Jamaican in me starts to come out a little bit more and I start to get a little bit more tan, which I love, but I have such a hard time finding my summer shades and then switching back over to like the fall winter shades. It's just like a weird transition for me that at 30, I have still not fully figured out yet, um, but we're working on it. So let's go ahead, I guess now, and just put on some primer since we have our sunscreen on. I don't feel like I see any like weird line of demarcation. Oh, school bus going by. <laughs> anyway, so I've been using two concealers lately and I've been mixing them together. So I've been using the Touch and Soul No Problem Primer. I have a really hard time saying that. Don't judge me. And then the other one I've been using is my Glow Primer and Serum Plus Hydro Boost with hyaluronic, hyaluronic Acid from Neutrogena. So this is the other one that I've been using. I'm pretty sure I showed you both of these in um, some video. Some video I think I showed you these. So I've been doing like two pumps of the Touch and Soul. See that there? And then I've been doing just like a little squirt, I guess, of the Neutrogena. Just a few drops of the Neutrogena. I'm leaking. And then I mix it together and just put it all over. I feel like a wild animal putting primer on because it's just like so haphazardly done. But <laughs> I guess that's kind of the nice part about it is you don't really have to be careful because no one can tell if you put it on weird. So our primer is on. So we've got SPF and we have primer. Now I'm gonna do my concealer. I'm sure I'm doing this in like a completely weird order, but you know what, we're doing it the way I do it. So these are the two concealers that I have been working with. They're both e.l.f. concealers. Um, one is the 16 hour camo concealer in a matte finish. And the other one is a hydrating camo concealer, concealer in a satin finish. So the white top is the satin and the black top is the matte and they are slightly different colors. One of them is warm medium or medium warm and the other one is light beige. And then I got a new one yesterday from ColourPop. It's their pretty fresh hyaluronic creamy concealer. And I got this one in a shade medium, which is 90W. So it is a little bit on the warmer side because that's usually what my skin is, is a bit on the warmer side. I have like ever so slightly kind of like, I don't know, slight orangey undertones almost, or like slight yellowy undertones. I don't know. I don't know. You tell me what color you think my skin is. But this is the concealer. It's a different applicator. It's really small and flat. You see that? Let me show you this in comparison to the e.l.f. one. That's a big chunky doe foot applicator on the e.l.f. concealer. So yeah, you can see they're very, very different applicator tips. So I guess, I guess let's try the new e.l.f. concealer first or the new ColourPop concealer first, just, just to say we did it, um, even though I'm scared. I don't know why, but I'm like actually scared. So I'm just gonna put some little dots. It's so weird how tiny it is. There, put some on my mini, ow, that one hurts, on my mini blemishes. <laughs> Basically just using this as a foundation, don't mind me. Okay. I forgot my sponge, you guys. Your girl is not prepared. I don't do my makeup in my bedroom, can you tell? Hold on. Got my sponge. This is just an e.l.f. sponge. I feel like in my last video um, where I showed you guys the sponge, I called it a beauty blender, um, but it's just one of the e.l.f. sponges. To me, beauty blender is like the word Kleenex, you know, where like Kleenex is an actual brand, but we really just mean like tissue paper <laughs> or whatever. That's kind of how uh, beauty blender is in my brain. Like these are all beauty blenders, right? <laughs> now, I don't know if this has actually really covered me much. I'm gonna put just like a little bit more on. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. Can you tell? <laughs> I do really like this little packaging. I think it looks really nice. 
compared to the other one, it feels like you're not getting quite as much, but are you, are you getting the same amount? How much is in here? It doesn't tell you. I'm assuming these are the same amount. I feel like they're like 30 milliliters or something. Maybe that's what foundation usually is. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Definitely drop any of your guys' <laughs> recommendations in the comments below if you, you know, think I need to be a different shade in anything, if you think I should try something just different, let me know what you think. Um, yeah, I pretty much just use like the same products all the time and I just branched out into some new ones, which was... Okay, which was a little bit scary for me to be totally honest with you, but it feels good to just have something new and fun to try. So I'm gonna put some of this low gloss back on or chopstick, lip balm, chopstick, same diff. Okay, so what I would usually do, I don't know why I'm so scared today, you guys. I don't wanna mess it up, but I feel like this is gonna be like my essential base. I haven't been putting on actual foundation lately because none of my foundations work for my skin color right now. They're all way too light. And then I just end up having to make up for it in bronzer, which then sometimes makes my face look a little bit dirty. Not what we're going for. So um, yeah, I've just been doing the concealer, which honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like it looks pretty good right now. Like I feel like my dark circles have gotten taken care of somewhat. And the blemishes, I mean, this one right here, it's just not gonna get covered. It's just like too red, even though it's not a freshie. It's been there for a minute, but it's just not gonna get covered up, so that's fine. So what I've usually been doing is putting my blush on next because I've been using cream blushes. Now, I've been using two different cream blushes and one of them I of course forgot, so hold on. The first cream blush that I've been using is by One Size. It's in this cheeky clapper. This colorway is called Fat Ass. So cute. So I've been using Twerkalicious, <laughs> which is the cream shade right here. Super, super pink super pink um, and very pigmented. Like, okay, watch. I'm just gonna barely press my finger on there. Look at that, that's crazy. And then you just like tap it in and blend it. And I feel like it actually blends out really, really nicely. Um, and then the other one that I've been using is by Ilia, I believe. There it is. This is the At Last Multi Stick. So I think it can be used multiple places. And I have just been like, I'll show you on my hand, rubbing it on here and then just melting it out. I really, really like this one. You do have to kind of build it up. It's definitely not as pigmented as this one right off the bat because I just did like one little tiny dot and I had to really kind of rub it for this one but I like this color quite a lot. So I think that's what I'm gonna do today instead of this one, because it is really pink and you can, you, can, you can get a little crazy with it. So I'm gonna have to bring my mirror up nice and close so I can actually see what I'm doing. This looks crazy at first. I always like have to suck myself up a little bit, but. I may look absolutely crazy, but trust the process, okay? Trust the process. I'm gonna have to bring my thing closer again. So, we're blending. We're blending. Yeah? What do we think? That's like, maybe not bad, right? So we went from that crazy to this, a little bit less crazy, huh? Okay. <laughs> I feel like I put more on this side, so blend this sucker in a little bit. I feel like I see people like go up like the side, like on the side of their eye too, so that's what I'm kind of been doing. Oh. Okay, see I feel like I put a little bit more on this side than I did this side, so I feel like I need to even it out. Hold on. <laughs> it just cracks me up every time I'm like drawing on my face. Okay. And I feel like it's okay if it looks a little bit crazy to start because I'll kind of 
cool everything down in a second. But I feel like that looks pretty nice. Like it's not too crazy. Now I feel like I have more on this side. See, this is where I, this is like eyeliner for me, where I'm like, I'm just gonna keep going back and forth, thinking that one side is brighter than the other side, and then trying to make the other side match the brightness. And I'm gonna be a clown in no time. But <laughs> we'll stop right there. I think that looks pretty good. Fairly like natural kind of sun-kissed looking. At least that's what I'm going for. And then the next product that I have to try is a, another new product. This is the first like major new product, I guess, besides that CeraVe sunscreen. And this one scares me really bad. So I got a NYX Wonder Stick. So it's got like, ah, highlight on one side, which I'm gonna be honest with you, I tried on my hand and I really don't like, but it has the like contour shade on the other side which I do think looks pretty nice. So here, let me put it on my hand again for you so you can see. So there's that contour shade. It's not super dark, but it does blend out fairly decent. Hi, handsome boy. And then let me just show you, I guess I'll put that here. So that is the highlight right there, that line. And it blends out okay. I just feel like it looks a little bit glittery. I don't know. Maybe we'll try it today on the face and see, but I'm really scared. I did go really looking for a contour stick because I just really wanted to try a cream contour because I've been liking the cream blushes so much. So I thought, you know, maybe we'll just do a kind of a whole creamy face. That sounds wrong, but you know what I'm saying? So I really went looking for, um, Oh, what brand is it? The Essence um, Contour Sticks. They're like $4.99 or something. Again, I was totally influenced by a beauty influencer. So thanks, ladies. Um, but my Ulta did not have it. So I got the NYX Wonder Stick instead because this is something that one of the ladies working there recommended to me. And she also recommended this shade as well. This one is, I think it's just Universal. It's called Universal Light. Hopefully you can see that there. Um, so let's try it. I'm really scared. Okay. Well, how do people do this? <laughs> I'm so scared. Okay. Oh my God. I'm just kind of trying to follow that natural shadow that my cheekbones make. Oh, this looks crazy. Okay. That looks, can you see? That looks crazy. All right, let's um see what we can do. Does my cheek just look dirty now? You tell me. I can't decide if I think it looks nice or if I think it looks kind of dirty. So let me just blend this in. I feel like I went too far down on my cheeks too. Like I took the line too far down maybe. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I feel like I look like a crazy person. I feel like I need to contour more places. <sighs> I'm so scared. I feel like people do their forehead. Oh my God. Ah. <laughs> ah. Is it under the jaw or is it? I see people do it right here too. I don't know what that does. <laughs> I've got the line on the forehead and the line under the jaw and a little dot under the chin. I feel like I see people do this all the time. Oh my God, you guys. Just kind of blend it. I don't know if I should be using my fingers, but I am.
trying to like get into the hairline too. Get those like little, I don't want there to be like a weird scalp line of demarcation. You know what I mean? Um, oh, okay. I actually feel like that looks pretty good on the forehead. What do you think? Let me know. This part scares me. I feel like I'm giving myself a beard. Like, what does this, what does this do? <laughs> Am I giving myself a beard right now? It's not the look I'm going for. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to see that skin right there. I really can't tell what that did. <laughs> Does anyone else try to do this to see if there's a line of demarcation? I'm like, what's happening? <laughs> oh, I can really see that zit when I do this. <laughs> okay. Am I crazy or does that look kind of good? Huh? Honestly, let me know if you think this is terrible. Be nice, but be honest with me. Should I look for a different product? Should I keep looking for that Essence contour stick? I probably will still looking for, be looking for it anyway because it's $4.99. This was also pretty cheap, I think. I don't remember the exact price of it, but I will look it up and I'll put it on the screen for you. Sir? My boy's getting a little rambunctious. He just did his little play with me bark. But yeah, I will link everything in the description that I've used today so that you can try and find it yourself if you want to try any of this. Um, I'm gonna tell you again though, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I do feel like I need like something right here. Hi. Hi. What's up? Wish we little pop. Can I have a kiss? Six toe. Your face is dirty. You're a dirty puppy. Can I have a kiss? Oh. Rude. Anyway, so yeah, I feel like that actually looks pretty damn decent. So hopefully, hopefully you guys agree and hopefully it comes across okay-ish on camera, but I am gonna leave it at that with the contour stick, I think. Let me kind of look at myself. Should I try to contour the nose? I've literally never done that. I don't even know what I would be attempting to do. Do I do it? What do people do? Uh. Oh. Oh. Did I just make my nose look crooked? Or did I just make my nose look really tan? <laughs> now is my nose just like the one really tan spot on my face? Oh boy. I just make my nose look dirty. <laughs> okay. Well, I think those, those are all of the like creamy products. So now let's go ahead and set the face, which I usually do with this NYX um, powder. This is the HD finishing powder and it's just in the color banana. I just kind of load the brush up a little bit like, like so, hopefully you can see that, and then just lightly kind of pat all around. Just to hopefully set all of the cream products. And I feel like that kind of cools everything down a little bit, like it tones everything down. If my pinks are a little pompin' too much, if my contour is a little too dark, See, now I feel like I need more contour right here though. But I just put that on. Does that matter? I don't know the rules. We're doing it. <gasps> just fully slapping my face. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Okay. 
I don't know if I did anything there, but I kind of feel like I did. Now I feel like my blush has kind of disappeared. At least on this side, I feel like it's really disappeared. I feel like you can kind of see some blush over here, but I'm gonna add a little bit of one of these powdery blushes. This middle one here, this is the color Rosebud. And just brighten up the cheeks just ever so slightly. I like to put a little bit of blush just right in the middle of the bridge of the nose as well, just to give that little bit of sun-kissed to it. You know what I mean? Okay. I might regret that, but I think that's okay. And let's just kind of cool it down a little bit. Okay. Hmm? Decent. So now, now what should we do? I feel like I should do highlighter. Do you want to try this highlighter stick? It Don't smell it. It's not the best smell, but <gasps> we're going to try it. I guess I should have done this before I set my face. <gasps> okay. Hello. Will this blend? The highlight seems ever so slightly more difficult to blend. Let's see. Oh, okay. I don't think I hate that. I feel like that gives kind of a nice like lit from within kind of glow. It's just not as like intense as the highlighters that I would normally use. I like a poppin' sparkly highlighter. Well, not sparkly, but you know what I mean. A really poppy highlighter. And this one's just a little bit more subtle, which is still nice. I feel like I can't even really see it on this side yet, but maybe that's just because the way the light is hitting. I don't see anything right here. I'm gonna load this side up way too much. Oh no. Oh, there we go. I can see it now in this light. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see that. But, do a little bit more over here. <gasps> Just for shits and kicks. Hey. No. Where are you back there? No barking. And then I see people do this a lot too, where they put like the line <laughs> crooked ass line if you're me a line down the nose and then like a dot at the front I don't know I don't know what does any of this do do I have a shiny nose now hmm oh my god I really do <laughs> okay okay um I guess that's all right what do we think what do we think? So now I think I'm gonna move on to some brows. I do a very, very light brow. Where did my, oh, here we go. I had lost my original brow stuff that I've been using. So I just bought this new one from Essence, Make Me Brow with filling fibers. So this is what I'm using today. This may be the one that I lost also, I can't remember, um, but I have also been using this Wet n Wild brush. Um, it has the spoolie at the end and the other end, it's at like an angle, so you can kind of draw the hairs on a little bit. So I'm just gonna kind of lightly brush the eyebrow hairs up, like so. My eyebrows are another area that I'm like trying to work on to get them a little bit less crazy. Okay, so let's try this. Ooh. Oh, this color does not look right. Look at that. It almost has like kind of a reddish tint to it. That's the color on my hand. I don't know. Let's just try it and see. Huh. This whole day is an experiment, isn't it? Oh. 
what did I just do? I feel like there's a lot of wet right there. Yikes, okay. Okay, you know, actually, I actually think that looks pretty good. Gave me some fluffier brow. So here's one that has not been done and the one that has been done. Okay, I'm actually pretty happy with that. See if I can do this again on the other side. They definitely are like cousins or sisters. They are not twins, but I feel like that looks pretty decent. This one's not my favorite. This one is for sure my favorite. That one looks really nice, I think. So, cool. Now, do I wanna try to attempt to put on the tiniest bit of eyeliner? <laughs> I really rarely wear eyeliner, but whenever I do, if I can do it well enough, I love the way that it looks. So, let's just try it. The eyeliner that I've been using is this KB, oops, KBD um, Tattoo Liner in the brown color. Your girl stinks, I need deodorant. And it has just like this really nice, super precise tip. It's kind of felty, right? It's like soft. Yeah. Okay. Uh. All right, I'm gonna need to bring the mirror closer. Hold on. Sorry if you can see the mirror, if the mirror's in front of you. Okay, that is the teeniest, tiniest little wing, which I really like. So we'll see if I can do it on the other side. And if not, we're gonna have to go back and make it bigger. That's literally all I'm gonna do for eyeliner, just the teeniest, tiniest little, little line. And I only brought it in up until like right here-ish on the eyelid, like not even fully halfway onto the eyelid did I bring this and just super, super, super tiny. That way, I don't know. I just didn't want a big, beefy, chunky line today. I just want it to be a little bit lighter. This eye is definitely what I prefer. This whole situation of the face is working a little bit better for me today, which is fine. And now I'm gonna use some mascara. I, I feel I have very mixed feelings about curling my eyelashes because I love the way that my eyelashes look when they've been curled and then have mascara on them, but I have fairly long eyelashes and also my upper eyelid area feels seems to be like a little bit extra poofy lately. I don't really know what's going on with that, but I have a really major issue with my mascara. I'm sure you've seen in many videos, um, but with my mascara hitting like right above here and then I just have this like black line of mascara on my eyelid, which is not the look I'm going for once again. And that happens when I wear waterproof mascara because I pretty much only wear waterproof mascara for that reason and it still happens. So if you guys have a fantastic waterproof mascara recommendation, please leave it in the comments for me so that I can try it. Um, also, please don't let it be like super expensive because your girl's a cheapo, as you will see by the next mascara that I'm using. It is also by Essence because their products are just like super, super reasonably priced and I've heard some pretty good reviews about them from multiple different people. So. I'm, I'm going with it here. This is not the usual one that I would use. This is their Volume Mascara Waterproof. The wand is just so thick and beefy. Let me go grab you the other one that I've been using. So this is the other one that I've been using. It's also by Essence, and this is their Get Big Lashes Volume Boost Smudge Proof. No, it's not. Um, waterproof Mascara. So let me show you the difference on the wand here. So here's the wand for that one. But do you see that difference there? This one on top is just like a lot more clunky looking and like there's chunks in there already, whereas this one is a little bit more um, uniform, I guess is the word. I'm gonna go with the one that I had been using most, which is gonna be the one with the more uniform looking brush here. It's still a ginormous brush though. So if that's not your thing, you're probably not gonna like this. And, oh, whoa, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Do you see that creasing happening with the concealer? That's inevitable. I've never not had that happen, but that is a lot of creasing. Just gonna tap that in there. Yeah. 
It's like magic and now it's gone. Okay, so to show you the embarrassing way I put on mascara, I mean, I know we all make a face, but I really like to take my mirror and go like up under. And I do still make the face, I can't not. I swear it helps, I don't know why, but it does. <laughs> I just hope my face doesn't stick like this. Okay, so there's one. Ugh. Can we see the difference? Do I look more awake? All right, now let's do the other one. And I really like to try and grab the eyelashes at the root and kind of wiggle them a little bit, wiggle the wand a little bit, just so I can really coat all the lashes and the roots of the lashes as much as possible. Not like the root of the lash, obviously, but you know, as much of it as I can. So I almost like, I just kind of blink onto the brush, if that makes sense. I got mascara on the top of my eyelid, so we're gonna let that dry, and then I'm gonna try and flick it off with a Q-tip later when we're done. Don't let me forget. Okay, these eyelashes look so much longer and fuller than the other ones. What's going on there? You see that? Okay, so. We've got the main face done. Now, let's put on some lips. I'm gonna do a really light lip. I do think I wanna get an eye or a lip liner though. This is gonna be the lip oil stuff that I wanna put on. It's in this nice like kind of chocolatey brown. It doesn't look that chocolatey brown when it's on, but it's called Status Update by NYX. This is their fat oil lip drip. And I feel like it smells good. Am I wrong? Hold on. It does, it smells pretty nice. So, and it has like a super chunky, really weird looking applicator. I don't know that I've ever seen like a lip gloss or a lip tint or whatever applicator look like that. Really interesting. Oh, and I've got one of my hairs on it. Cool. But before I put that on, I do wanna put a lip liner on. So these are the two lip liners that I have. You can tell which one I've used more. They're both by ColourPop. I think the one that I've used the most is BFF. I'm pretty sure that's the color. And then the other one is called, what is it called? It's called Bumble for this one. So yeah, they are like, you're able to sharpen them. They're sharpenable lip pencils. But let's see, I don't know what color I should do with this. I guess maybe I should do this darker one. I don't know. We're just gonna go with it. We're gonna do the darker one. We're gonna be a little bolder today. Okay. When your girl's getting hungry. Let's do this here. I do not overline my lips. I feel like my lips are big enough. I don't need to look like a clown. And, uh, I tried overlining my lips once and it felt so crazy. My mom's always told me since I was little that like people pay to have lips like mine. <laughs> Thanks, mom. Uh, so I've never had an issue with my lips. I feel like they're a nice size, especially since I lost a bunch of weight when I was younger and a lot heavier. It's so funny. My eyes looked smaller. My nose looked smaller. All of my like facial features looked smaller because it was just being taken over by like face. You know what I mean? So when I lost weight and then now I look at pictures of myself when I was heavier, my lips look so small and my eyes look so small. I'm just gonna kind of smudge that in a little bit just so it's not so intense. Since I'm not putting on like a lipstick, it's just like a gloss or whatever. Ah! So now let's go ahead and put this on. Again, this is in the color Status Update. Okay. 
I feel like I could blot. So let's, let me take a sticky note right quick. There's our little blot mark. <laughs> I think that looks pretty good. I'm calling it. Calling it and I think that'll be fine. My hair looks crazy today, but you know what? We're going to take the dogs to a beach, so who cares? All right. I think that is going to be my finished makeup look, if that's what we want to call it. Um, let me know what you guys think. Is it too much? Do I need to lighten it up? I feel like I always do it a little bit heavier than I mean to, usually because I'm in my bathroom and the lighting is so bad. And then I'll get out into like human lighting and then I'm like, oh shit. And I'll like wipe my face down with napkins or something really quick. But I feel like at least in the light that I'm in right now, I feel like this looks pretty decent. I'm not seeing like a line of demarcation, which I guess we really wouldn't because I didn't use like foundation or anything like that. I just used the concealer and then the um, like contour stick and the other stuff. So no line of demarcation to really worry about, which is nice. And I feel like that um, the SPF worked really, really nicely under everything, which is what I was a little bit worried about um, when I was searching. I wasn't even searching for SPFs. I like mentally was, but I wasn't like physically searching for them. And when I found um, someone reviewing this, they were saying that it is like brown girl friendly SPF that you can wear under your makeup because it doesn't leave a white cast, which I don't have super dark skin. I realize that, but I don't want a white cast left behind. So I thought that was really, really good to see. And yeah, I always love looking at like the brown girl friendly, um, like makeup tutorials and makeup products because um, especially in the summertime with that Jamaican in me, it starts to come out a little bit more with the coloring of my skin, which I love. And I don't know, I just find those products really, really helpful and those videos really, really helpful. So if you have a little bit darker complexion, like I said, mine, I'm not dark by any any means like look at me next to my mom I'm like not dark but I just find those really really helpful and I find that I usually like the tones that they go with better than the like more um paler and lighter skinned makeup uh tutorials or um, recommendations so yeah let me know what you think of this in the comments down below again please be nice <laughs> but yeah I had so much fun doing this with you guys I felt like I don't know it just feels nice to get ready like with friends, essentially. So thank you guys so much for watching this. And if you want to see some clips of going to the beach, I don't think I'm going to actually include that in this video because it's going to be a little bit later in the day. And I really want to get this video out to you guys. So if you want to see clips of us at the beach, definitely make sure to follow my Instagram handle, which is just going to be plant therapy. I'll put that on the screen for you here. And I'll be putting some stories up today when we go to the beach. So definitely make sure you follow me there. And I will see you guys in the next video. And let me know what else you want to see from me on this channel too because this is just it's not plant centered it's just us centered what do we want to do so let me know what else you guys want to see in the comments down below and I will see you in the next video